This podcast is a part of the Royal Wee Network. Spit on me. All right, no banter. Welcome to another episode of the Royal Wee. Mm. I'm Sam. I'm Nate. Welcome to another episode of the Royal Wee. Business. It's grand. In and out. Maybe back in again oh. and then out. Ooh, <clears throat> All right. Uh, uh, welcome to another episode of the Royal I said that already twice. It's the third time. <laughs> welcome to another episode of the Royal <laughs> <laughs> We need to say it four times in this episode. I know. We have to. What we do is we do we do the news. We read the news. We read the headlines. Mm. And then we give you the news based on those headlines. We don't read the facts. Yeah. We don't read the articles. We don't even read them. Conjecture. Based. Podcast. News discussions. All right, so we do, but why, Sam? Because the facts only get in the way. Yeah, that's what they tell us. Is that like a tagline? I don't know. We keep keep saying it. Every we do. Episode. We do say it. We we sometimes these these ha- these uh, intros are chunky. This is a chunky one. This one's extra chunky. chunk. Sometimes they're creamy. Sometimes they're chunky. Some, this is a this is a chunky one. If you guys want to set us headlines, <laughs> welcome to another episode of the Railway. No, if you guys set us headlines. <laughs> You guys can do that at Royal Weekends on Twitter or Royal Weekends at gmail.com. Gmo. We're just gonna get right into it. Yeah. Let's just get we're gonna get Let's this. Open is our, this can a chunky chunk. There's no there's really no reason for this other than we've been doing it all day. Jumbo lump, baby. Jumbo get it on. 100 percent jumbo lump. You know daggering? Call me Mr. Krabs, because I'm a jumbo lump. All the bad bitches shake that rump. All right, here's one. Let's do there is Let's spookries. You want to do a, open up that drawer? I don't care. Did you You're, see one that you wanted to do? No, I just we haven't talked about spook grease monsters or unexplained. All right, let's open lot. up the unexplained drawer. This is new cure. I keep forgetting I got this white shit on my face. I put some fucking zinc lotion, mm-hmm. zinc I, oxide. <clears throat> let's open up the unexplained drawer. <laughs> No, I feel like the unexplained. I keep forgetting we have to do jingles. I feel like the unexplained would be open up the drawer. That's a good one. (laughs) Guinness. I love the world this paints. The bear or the organization of records. You'll see. God damn it, man. Every now and then, it's like the. But it's like the, a headline paints a world better than if they just gave you the facts. Mm-hmm. You know? Like the one we found about the feet washing up in Canada. Yeah. Like, here's a map of all the feet that have washed up so far. We're like, what? Mm-hmm. So many questions. Here's one. God damn it. I love this. Guinness says a Tampa man made the world's tallest hat. There is no record of his existence. Well, their hat. then how can you say? Is there a hat? What I mean is... If it, so, that would be the record of his existence. So, his le- his only legacy is a, the world's tallest hat. So, there's a record out there. What did you get up to in your life? They don't People don't know I exist, except that I built this, the largest hat. No, the, I don't... I think Guinness made it up. Ooh, to fill pages in that book they got to put out every year. But why? To what end? There are people doing things. That's why there, there's records for people eating the fastest, like, bite of cake and shit. <laughs> Yeah, shot out of a goddamn gun. One of them is how fast you can eat a cheeseburger. And somebody just won that. Just like a like a normal, plain, like, McDonald's cheeseburger. There's a record just to see how fast you can eat it. People just keep doing it. And it's down to something stupid. Who won? Like 20-some won- seconds. We uh, when dudes we watch. God, yeah. Your goddamn legacy. Here's the goddamn legacy you're going to lead to your grandkids. My, my great-great-grandpa ate the fastest hamburger. Well, my dad What do you mean he had to day? chase it down? And, like, what were hamburgers like back then? That's no, what I'm thinking. He's like, saying. it's like it's fired out of a goddamn gun. <laughs> yeah. He had to catch the fastest hamburger, fire it out of a cannon, and then devour it. I showed my... Bow, boom, boom. I showed my kids the video of that fat man getting hit in the gut by a cannonball. Oh, that's great. In hindsight, maybe not something you should show children. Why is it? I have fond memories of that. I have fond memories of it, too. But, I mean, it's a man getting shot with a cannon. I mean, it just creates... You just need to say, don't do this. This man's a professional fat man. Uh, kids. He was what was known in the time as a fatso. He's so fat that he can his body can absorb cannonballs and probably bullets and stab wounds. It'd be funny if you taught the word the kid's fatso. Fatso. He was a he was a professional fatso. The word if you yeah, the word for this is kids fatso. Write it down. Fatso. <laughs> Okay, but there's no right. He makes the world's tallest hat, right? Okay. Everyone's applauding him. It gets written in the book. But then someone 
what what I love about this is for some reason someone decided I'm gonna track that man down because like it's in the book. You oh, see true. It? Okay. I, oh, I see what's happening. Do you see why it's a- okay? I see. Okay, so it's not Gin- Guinness didn't say. Oh, somebody built the tallest hat, but there's no record of it, who built it. They put it in the book. They someone put it in the book. to do back research, right? and they're like, wait, So no, some guy no, named, no. like, Greg Blevins. Somebody is lying over at Guinness. You see what pages. I'm saying? Ooh, how deep does it go? How many of those, how many, oh, this makes you question everything in every record that you've not seen with your own eyes beaten before you. How many of, has Guinness made up? And the tallest hat doesn't seem like one that's particularly difficult to uh, broken. You know? There has to be a, yeah. It's not like, you know, like guy who is there furthest distance be. unicycles or something. That's some endurance. You know, those endurance ones are pretty impressive. Impressive. I, I would think it'd be a matter of science how big you could make it. Because if, if, if Or the, patience. If the, <laughs> really? Yeah. If the, <laughs> yeah. If the, my, but the thought that went through my mind was a half man, half wasp, slowly building up a hat out of its own spit. Anyway, God damn it, man! If you ever die in your bedroom, I'm donating your brain to science. Why? 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 The thoughts put me in a rat. That, but because if the rules were, it has to be a hat that will fit a human head. Sure. The whole, and then the brim has to be reasonable because the, <laughs> because the <laughs> rules it has to fit a human head brim. Reasonable. Because <laughs> the way to build a tall hat... The brim has to be reasonable. <laughs> what a claim. But if you... Because the thing is, you could make it fit a human head, and then... But you can just, make it... Just the taller you made it, the taller you'd have to make the base in order for it to keep that thing from tipping over, blowing over. Or, or or crumbling in on itself. Yeah. Unless you can make it out of, like, titanium or something. Or build a, a system of girders in the middle, like, interlocking. I think the height... Because there's going to be a height to but, base width ratio think about where the this, things going to fall. Yeah, okay, yeah. But we're, we're And the man builds it, and he puts it on his head, and it goes, whoop, and it just falls down to the ground, and, and he's he, never seen again. Yeah, he's banned. That's what I'm saying. We're skirting over the issue yeah, that he's having the man with the hatter. doesn't exist. Yeah. Guinness made it up is the thing. That's the headline. Guinness. I mean, we got to get one of them Guinness books. records for bullshit. Let's get a hold of one of those. I like those. A good coffee table book, a good Guinness book. I used to get them when I was a kid for Christmas every I get them, yeah. I would get them, too. That's a good read. I'd be like, because I'd be like, I could beat that. Gum? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Gum? You betcha. Most pennies swallowed. Way ahead of you, Guinness. <laughs> Gulp. Chink. No one can prove it. No. Except for me. Let's stay here and explain for a second. Boy turns into pig. Full of pennies, says Guinness. God damn it, I love this one. Here's another one that I just love. Okay. Bishop blesses toilet. Why, you might ask. Oh, you know what they called it? The royal flush. I was going to say the holy shit. That's way better. <laughs> Wait, because royal... Never mind. None of that makes any sense. Yours made no sense. I was thinking of holy... I was, should have said holy flush, but then I realized that doesn't... I uh, should stop talking. <laughs> I'm sorry I ever interrupted. I apologize to everyone. Now, see, I'm imagining a big wasp. <laughs> Sitting on the toilet, reading the Bible. <laughs> now, why do you think this bishop... God damn it, man. What I love about this is it's, it's like there's a logic to it, but it's like if you are a person... It's like, it's again, I come back to it. I come back to the pinnacle. The goddamn peak of this episode, this goddamn show, was the fucking Chinese man. Chinese man. No. The, the Chinese company brain. with the AI robot cockroach brain. A robot brain in the biggest warehouse. And they're making potions to summon... Oh, God damn it. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. The bishop blessed the toilet to stop churchgoers from urinating in the bushes next to the church. So he, I, so he blessed the ch- the church toilet. Why are people peeing in the bushes outside of a church to start with? They're the people, and it's the people. Oh my god! If you're someone who's gonna believe, you would think that you have enough sense and decency. Apparently, it we're all goddamn animals. Why are you? I don't understand why you would pee in the bushes when there's a toilet. Maybe there's so many people at this church that, that there's a line. But now, with, now that the tr- toilet's blessed, I'm sure it's not going to make the line much better. So they could make it more, but like, I want to pee in that holy toilet. Right. I don't understand anything about that one. Do you know honest. what I mean? Do you see why I, fi- I find that there's like some little bit of cognitive dissonance in that one? Yeah. Of like I'm a church goer, but I, and, and like be, uh, that toilet being blessed makes me want to use it more, but I'm enough of a chuckle fuck that I'm, I'm just going to urinate on this church. Yeah. Like it's just, there's a goddamn disconnect. I don't understand anything about it. I really don't. I don't understand that one. All right. We're going to stay in here for one more, and we're going to stay in this drawer. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. One more. One more. One Mis- more in the drawer. One more in the drawer. Mysterious pickle jar. <laughs> Here's one for you, Toby, yeah. if you're listening. Secret transmissions. Give him a clue. Oh, I bet I know what this is without even thinking. Go. Is it the one that keeps appearing on the side of the highway? Yes. How do you know? Are you doing as you? Is it your doings? P- pickle, speak to me. Mysterious pickle jar, which I love the idea of a mysterious pickle jar. Yeah. That pickle jar over there? Weirdly weird. It's up as mystery. Uh, it keeps reappearing on a ramp to Missouri Highway, baffling drivers. Yeah. How often would you need to drive past a pickle jar before you would even notice and be like, I don't know. 
This is like that copy of Hellraiser that kept appearing on the top of the bus station. There are chuckle fucks out there just chuckle fucking, and they're playing around with people's emotions in their hearts. Yeah, when I, I saw that headline, yeah, and I read just like the blurb that I could see without clicking into the article, yeah, I was yeah. just like, all right, that's weird. And my mind just went, this is kind of weird, I bet, because I bet if someone dug into this, what's happened is someone's... Well, they showed a picture of where it was, and it's on like a highway with like an off ramp. So like, I bet someone crashed and died here. Instead of leaving flowers, someone's like, she loved pickles. So they leave a jar of pickles. And not telling anyone? Yeah. And now it's made news. And I, that could be my only thought. That makes sense. That makes sense. But what I hope it is, it's just some lunatic leaving jars of pickles being like, ha, that'll get them. I've always wanted to, like, you know, like, you see, was, they were bleached white from the sun. The oh, picture, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I've always wanted, to, like, you ever see, like, a raccoon or, like, a deer or something on the street, like, roadkill? Yeah. I've always yeah. wanted to put, like, a marlin. Like, just, <laughs> yeah. like, a ridiculous trophy fish, just, like, in the middle of a landlocked area, like, what? way How in the did, middle of nowhere. Where did someone hit this with their car? Fucking dolphin out here. Got a blue whale. Who was that guy that was going around putting, like, wreaths and flowers and, like, there was, like, a dead squirrel or something. Remember that? In, like, New York or something. Okay. And it just laid on the street, and kind of the guy was like, no one's going to pick that up. There's just a fucking dead squirrel like on the sidewalk, no one. Right. So he drew like a body outline around it, started putting flowers there and stuff, and it became like a whole big thing. And then, and then, people, then the city was like, all right. I'm always surprised at how much just shit we deal with as people. Like, we all, as a society, want to have little beasts that live with us, and we would take them for walks in oh, our animals. fucking human hives. And mm -hmm. people, I guess, but animals is what I mean. Yeah, and they yeah. shit in the street, and then people let it just sit, and then there's stray ones, and they're shitting on the street, and there's just shit on the streets. Yeah. And people are like, yeah. I had to dodge a shit last night. Dodging Walk, shits. Walking down the street, just yeah. a mashed shit. People peeing. Yeah. Animals yeah. peeing. There's a bunch of barf, too. And th this city's a really clean city compared to- Super clean. Super clean. But people still deal with beast shit. Yeah. It's a very clean city, so I was like, it makes it stick out even more. Yes. I was walking by, I was like, is that? Oh, yes. yeah, someone just vomited all outside of this hotel. <laughs> I was like, what? Let's open up another drawer. Yeah. This oh. drawer is foreign lands. Oh. So we need a we need a, a jingle for this, I guess. Open up that drawer. <laughs> so crunchy. <laughs> I thought that we could use that. The face you made was like, what are you doing? What to do? I panicked. <laughs> I say leaves it. Leaves it. Okay. <laughs> Listen, boss. I say leaves it. You know, every time we make one of these, I'm just going to cut them out, and every time we open these drawers, I'm just going to paste them in there. So these are forever. Why don't we just do it every time we open a drawer? Yeah, we do. I can do it. <laughs> okay, we're in foreign lands, foreign corner. Japanese human pet house made for people who want to be cats. So you go to this place, it's a human pet house, you pretend to be a cat, and people like pet you and feed you, and okay. you, you pretend to be a cat in Japan. I'm a Japanese cat, Japan, man. Japan, man. They're ahead of the curve on all the weird shit. Because I remember when we first moved here, we haven't never been to one. I don't know, I'm not, I don't know your life. Maybe you, you frequent these places, but there's these- All the pet cafes. The cat, cat, yeah, there's a cat cafe, which I, I'm not super into animals. In fact, I would say I'm against them. <laughs> I would like to one day defeat them all. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Mortal Kombat. So I don't understand the idea of... Because like I was in a restaurant the other day, this goddamn vegan restaurant, which one thing brings me to all the time, and you, it's just full of fucking California girls, and I hate them. I'm mm. like, oh my God, this place has the best kale. And like, they, it was a place you could bring your <laughs> no, dogs. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Newsflash, there is no good kale. This, they, it was a place you could bring your dogs. So right, we're right. just eating fucking vegan burgers with guacamole and, you know, goddamn pinto beans. And there's just beasts around us. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Somebody came into the hamburger joint this morning with the beast. Yeah. Came right on in with the beast. I, I just don't understand it. What was my point? Human pet house. Oh, cat cafes. I don't get it. You, you, you're drinking coffee and you're having a good time. You're working on your screenplay for the fucking rap. Maybe it's like... Movie. Maybe Pharaoh. it's like thing like, I like to pet a cat, but I don't want the commitment of a cat. That's what it is. It's got it. Yeah. And you just go and be like, yeah, all right. Yeah. But you can't pet the ones on the street. No. Nope. Seeing these fucking gangster ass motherfuckers walking around here. Yeah. One eye, no tail and shit. Just yes. fucking staring at you as you walk by. I saw one, someone set, well, you know, like a mattress or something out to be hauled away for garbage. This cat had claimed that it was sitting up on top of the mattress. And I walked by that thing was just like, do something. It had one fucking big tooth coming out of its face. I was like, fucking look at that bastard. It just stared at me the whole time like, fuck you. What are you looking at, bitch? Fucking bitch. I was like, God. My All right, okay. All right, passing cat. passing by, mattress cat. Would you do this? What? Would you be a human cat? 
I mean, it kind of sounds like a good gig. You go in and crawl around, let people mm, pet you. No, I don't know that it's a gig. I think you pay money to be the cat. Oh, then no. No, no, no. That we, makes you a weirdo. Yeah. That makes you more of a weirdo. If you're like, what do you do? Oh, well, it's kind of a sweet gig. Like, people rub on me all day, and I don't have to talk, and they feed me. It's not that bad. I only pay $20 an hour to do it. Yeah, I wouldn't pay to do that. That's weird. I think that's what it is. That's a fetish shit. Because they, they have a human pet house made for people who want to be cats. You want to be a cat, so you go to this establishment. Someone f- knew the demand, built the thing. If you build it, they will come. Yeah. It's the human pet house of dreams. Yeah. Well, you know, there's these cafes here. I mean, this is a land of weird cafes, but there's ones where like there's like mm. women dressed in maid, like French maid outfits. <laughs> there's different ones. There's and they'll like different... sit with you and like eat lunch with you and like hang out with you. Yeah. It's kind of like the the girls with like some certain karaoke bars. I'm not, I'm not, I just don't, I don't like that they're it not, they're, exists. Yeah. They're not like, they're, they're not, not going to fuck you. They're no, not, yeah, gonna, they're not prostitutes or anything, but you pay them just for company. And they're like, hey, come and. I guess I get it, but it just, I don't like it. I, I wouldn't, I could, I don't, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't even go in there. No. There's ones where you go and eat in jail. Like, they go in and eat in, like, a mock jail, and they're dressed as, like, sexy jail guards. That's it's so like, many things. These are things that are, like, it's, like, imagine, like, Hooters. Okay? It's like I a, am. It's, like, a Hooters, but jail-themed. Okay. And it's... Now slower. <laughs> <laughs> You're not tricking me again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's what's going on in Japan. Would you like to hear about what's going on in China? Uh, absolutely. Because if you think if you think Japan is weird, well, Japan's weird, but China is doing illegal weird. <laughs> that's that's and fucking state of the art in a, the darkest possible way. Very apropos. Okay, Chinese university hosts grenade throwing contest. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to start clapping. Did you? No. You're like, yeah, China's up to some illegal nonsense. I was like, you don't even know. We got so many grenades. This is something I would, I would have, I could pin on Russia too. How do you win that contest? Who throw us the furthest? Who throw us the furthest? <laughs> Say a Thor. It's, the why if that's the case? Why are you throwing grenades? God, I would love to do it. Maybe it's, you know what it is. Maybe it's like targets. You know, like how curling works, or like uh, b- b- shot put. Bill, billboard shuffleboard. Board. I went from shot put to... I said yeah. billboard first. <laughs> you know how billboards work? You put up, take out an ad. You know, like, you got to get between those things. Yeah, so yeah. maybe it's like they have a bunch of, like, things, and you have... Or, like, eggs on sticks is how I'm imagining it. And you have to get the grenade in the right spot to blow up the most amount of them. That would make sense. It would also be kind of fun. It would be fun. I'd love to do that. Yeah. I've already expressed my love for wanting to own a live grenade. This yes, is- you have. Let's go to China. Let's go to China and fuck around for a month and be- just do all this stuff. The thing about China, though, is they have, they're having fun. They're throwing grenades. They're having fun. They're but having- then there's also this. China Chinese doctor spends three months in jail for saying leopard bone-infused medicinal wine doesn't cure heart diseases. He's like, listen, I'm a doctor. I don't think this leopard bone-infused medicinal wine is doing anything. And they said, now oh, you're going to jail. You're going to jail now. That's heresy. That This is what, in the, if you listen to the last episode, we went on a big thing about what we would do if we went back to, we're not going to get into it again, but if we went back to medieval, t- no, and, uh, Pharaoh times. Pharaoh times. If we went back to Pharaoh times and tried to tell them about the future before they killed us and made them believe us. That's probably what would happen. Yes. Like, they'd be like, okay, that sounds right. And then we'd say something just totally common sense, like, yeah, drinking that fucking animal's foot in a jar of vinegar, that's not, it's not curing you. You have a huge tumor on your face. That's not going to help you. Cut his hands off. Yeah. That's what would happen. That's something like that that would get That's why I'm saying you have to, we can't get back into it. But that's why you'd have to have your iPhone or something that definitively proves you're from the future and that you know better. I think we need to definitively prove we're from the future if we ever plan on going to China. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Because it seems like all the same rules. And you should have a weapon. You never case anyone fucks with you. Like, not only are you there from the future, but you'll just fucking glock someone down. Yeah, that's what we need. Get arrested on weapons charges in China. End up in a fucking Chinese prison. I'm not talking... I'm talking about the past. I was in Pharaoh times. Oh, oh, you're still in Pharaoh times. Yeah, I know we opened up the foreign lands drawer. Okay. We got to get back out of... We can't go into... Our brains are still ripe with the juices of Pharaoh land. We can't go back into that. Can't go back into that. But if you go... if Yeah, because that's the crazy thing is China, they're on like the cutting edge of some things. Then it's like, well, it's because there's a guy named billion people. I mean, India is the same way. Right, they, right, right. They, I mean, India's got all kinds of stuff going on, but there's Great. also people yeah. shitting in the street. Yeah. Yeah. Massive innovations in medicine in areas of India and medicine. And in India. Yeah. And in non-technology. But yeah, then there's people just pooping in the street. Tasty as goops. They're a land of tasty goops. Gupta. <laughs> Gupta. Gupta. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of the Sanjay Gupta.
Let's open up the... Let's close that drawer. Okay, where are we going now? Or open up the science slash technology drawer. Okay. What's the... What's the... Open up that... Open boop, up... Boop, 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 <laughs> Okay. Here's one. Here's one in science slash technology. Mm-hmm. Sli- science slash... It's hard to say. Science slash. Science slash. Whew. You jam. Human bones make for terrific daggers. Colon research. <laughs> What? I love the way that it just says research at the end. Human bones make excellent daggers. Research. S- Colon research. Says primitive scientist. Oop. Human bones make for terrific daggers. Ooh, oh. Top five best things to make daggers out of. Number one, you'll never believe. <laughs> Jim bones. <laughs> Why human bones specifically? I would imagine like elephant bones. Like if bone makes the best human dagger. No. Mm-hmm. Bones makes the best dagger. Yeah. Human dagger. Human dagger. Human dagger is another good name for a band. Yeah, I mean, I'm human dagger. I. A that's human- a band that you are the ma- you are human dagger. <laughs> Hi, I'm human dagger. <laughs> yeah, human dagger. I think is if you like froze your blood and stabbed somebody with it. Oh, and then it dissipated. But yeah. not your blood. Why would you use your blood? That that's would what makes it DNA- human. But that would use leave DNA. What? I'm not saying we're getting away with it. <laughs> I never claimed. <laughs> All I'm claiming is it'd be human dagger. I never made any claim. Any sort of. <laughs> Never been any sort of claim. So we read that one more time. Human bones make for terrific daggers. Oh, make for terrific. So it's not the best. And just make for terrific. Ones. Terrific research. Terrific research. There's a guy out there, and I love this idea. There's there's like one guy. He's I think is the officially the only person who actually gets paid to do this. Uh-huh. He he debunks paranormal stuff. Uh-huh. Like he he is purposefully going out of his way. He's funded by a college. He tries to find supernatural stuff. Oh yeah, I've heard. Yeah yeah yeah. Which is great. I'd love to have I that job. Too. Right, it's great. I think it's a great job. I think it's a great thing. And his like, office is really cool. It's full of, like tribal masks and shit. And, and it's like, like it's like the dude who's offering someone like a, what a million dollars. James Randi, yeah. Who's yeah, like, yeah. if you can bring me proof of anything paranormal, Bigfoot, like, you know, anything like that, if you can find it and bring it to me, and there, and it turns out to be real, I will give you a million dollars. I told my students that's about great, him. That's great. I went on a whole rant with them because they were trying to just tell me that look, I watched this thing on YouTube with this man. He could he ran faster than a something. He I can't remember exactly what it was, but the guy could run. A spe- like some absurd amount of speed. Uh-huh. And I was like, do you really think that he can do that? And they're like, yeah, I saw the video. And I was like, do you really think? Like, you, think you, about you it. You also saw Avengers, right? <sighs> Come on, use your brain. Yeah. I made a big poster at my school that just says, use your brain. Mm. And I point at it all the time. Someone says something stupid to me. I go, Come on. <laughs> So, all right. Yeah. Human bones make... I, I can imagine that. So there's that you a, research. You have a femur laying around. What, this is what I love about science. This is like a this is like a Conan character from 15 years ago. Caveman scientist. And this is what his report is. Right. You well, know? this is what I love about science is there's so many people out there doing science of all kinds of different ways in different countries. Some guy's doing this. You get this. And here's another one. A contact lens has been invented okay. that could allow humans to shoot laser beams from their eyes. Okay. Okay. Here's the TED Talk. Up next, laser eyes. Okay. Here first, dagger bones. <laughs> no, no, no. What laser eyes? Pew, pew. Doo, doo, doo. That's ridiculous. I want them. What's to keep you from and it not says, shooting it says, your eyelids? It has been invented. So it, it has been invented. It hasn't been Past approved. Tense, right? But that could allow human beings. Could. So like, there is a weird tense here. Like, it, it, we did invent something, and maybe it could do this. But what it actually does... I like to think they're just big eight-inch barrels coming out of your eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> here's, the, here's the downside. Yeah, where is it getting the power? If it's a little contact lens, where is it getting the power? Well, I saw where they invented some kind of thing, like a patch or something you wear, and it transfers stress into energy. So maybe if you're... Physical stress? Physical stress? I don't know. It just said stress. Like, like... I just read the headline <laughs> and move on. Like, as if it's, like, energy, like, stress, like, like tension. Like, physical tension. But if it's stress, god like, damn it. I read it as, like, stress, like... Give you know, that to like, Mike and he'll become like a, fucking Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to fucking Beautifax. He'll fly to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Here you go. <laughs> His eyes glow green. It's glowing. <laughs> yeah. But if you could have that power, your laser eyes... Let's see, we'll go to China and start, talk, say that's something just, stupid somebody, and then somebody will just shoot us with laser beams. We're like, I'm going home. <coughs> that's our superpowers, man. That's our superhero duo. Hi, du- I'm, I'm, duo. I'm Dagger Bones, and this is my sidekick. No, well, I guess Dagger laser Bones. Are, eyes. Dagger Bones would probably be the sidekick. Who would win a fight? A Batman would kick the shit out of Robin, mm-hmm. right? So that's why Robin's a sidekick. Yes, yeah, so if you had laser eyes, you'll beat a drag- Dagger Bone. A, da- a Dragger dagger, Dragon Dagger Bone. A Dragger Dagger Bone. This is better. This is better than our last superhero duo. What was that one? 
I don't remember. Marbles and Bugdar. Marbles and Bugdar. That's a deep dive. Go back there and find listen to that episode. I think my power was that I could just know where bugs were. Yeah. That was a power. <laughs> and your power was you could fire marbles. Yeah. At any speed you wanted, I imagine. Mm-hmm. I, I could just know where bugs were. Yeah. And this is a new one. Deep debate about which one was better. <laughs> I guess dagger bones isn't really a power. I just have a dagger made of bones. Yeah. Unless you could, like, generate them. Man. Yeah. You're good at throwing them and you could just generate them. I'm good at throwing them. I think this is exactly what I said about Marble Man. If I could generate marbles and fire them. Right, right, right. But then the power is generating the marbles. I guess the firing them is a thing, but... All right, let's close that drawer. Yeah. <laughs> let's open up animals. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is this funny? Do you guys like this? This is annoying me. <laughs> and I'm the one making the sounds. <laughs> You're doing it. I'm doing it. And I'm like, shut up. All right. I, <laughs> never again. Mm, let's not say that. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let's slow down. I like this. We can't fuck any animal. I, I like... <laughs> <laughs> I read about that. Oh, come back. <sighs> I almost... My soul got taken away. Mm-hmm. I read about that. The, 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 I read about an article. Mm-hmm. Remember last week? Yeah. We were talking about the sodomy law. The, the, the not sodomy law. No, no, no. The the animal animal anti bestiality yeah. in Louisiana. Yeah. Well, the reason is because they had this thing. I read the article. Okay. It was because there's a, the way the law works in Louisiana. They have this like ancient rule about anti sodomy. Oh. And it's like crimes against nature. Oh. So like butt fucking is against the law in Louisiana, and they're trying they're trying to kill that law. Butt fucking. <laughs> I know, but this is a funny way. Butt fuck's a funny word. They're trying to kill the law for butt to, to make butt fucking legal again. <laughs> yeah, but they're doing it under the guise of anti bestiality, and there's people like, no, 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 wait, we should keep that illegal in my America. I ah, see. That's what it was. It's so not as trying, simple. They're, they're trying to sneak them in. They're trying to sneak me like, wait, 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 wait. It's not as simple as 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 yeah as just fucking animals. Right. Lawmaking seldom is. <sighs> I declare. Mm, they're trying to bring him back to butt fucking. The problem with opening up the animal drawer is uh-huh. I think I come across as an unfeeling machine when we talk a lot about animals mm-hmm. because I want to defeat them all. No. I think I either made that claim in this episode or this last one. Episode. This one. Did you, I? Just made, you just made it. <laughs> We're talking about cats of all things. <laughs> I want to defeat them. <laughs> Snake mistakes man's slipper for food. Okay. Undergo surgery to have it removed. Why? Yeah. Was it his man's pet snake, probably? Probably. So he was like, I love my snake. Fix it. I, probably cost above $1,000. To take a, a shoe out of a snake. Out of a snake that was dumb enough to eat it. You're dumb enough to have a snake and have slippers near it. And letting it crawl around eating your shoes. Like, you're fucking dummies. If I can't hold my shoes or miss. I mean, what if it's your Yeezys? <laughs> what if it's your $2,000 Yeezys? That's what it is. That's got to be what it is. If I came home with it my isn't. Foot, no, it isn't. <laughs> I don't know. You got a snake. You yeah. got a big snake, and you're like, that's what. That's the thing. Fucking either. Fucking cokehead yahoos do who just be like, I got a snake, man, but I lost him. I'm fucking up. You know, it's either that or you're just like, I make so much money, I got snakes, and I just let them crawl around. My Yeezys. <laughs> You're not wearing the shoe after it comes out of the snake. Mm. What if you're just rich enough to afford one pair and a surgery on a reptile to get one back? If it that is a specific amount of money, but someone's got to be that bracket. That's got to. <laughs> That's my tax bracket. Yeah. Snake surgery, one pair of Yeezys. <laughs> yeah, if you're on a, if you're on that, you know, you're just that rich. You're on that level. Sure. I can't be going crazy. I can't throw away the snake with a Yeezy inside. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Throw the snake away? <laughs> no, because that's exactly what I was going to say. If I came home, my fucking flip flops are missing. I'd be like, eh, let's just see what happens. Well, and if the snake died, you just throw him away. Fucking cut what it in half. What take happened? it out. Oh, to get the Yeezy. There are people cable and dicks. There are people shoving dick cables. Yeah, but they're not cutting snakes in half. You got a snake in your house. You got to be prepared. I, you have a, to be prepared to kill that snake. Here's a here's a claim I'm going to have. If you have a beast in your home, you have to be prepared to one day kill that beast. Yeah, regardless of beast. If it turns that, on you, if, or old yeller. Or like, you know that movie, I Am Legend, when he has to kill that dog? Mm-hmm. God damn it. Everyone in the movie, there's like, oh, they had to kill the dog. It was turning into a zombie. Fuck you. Yeah, they had to kill it. They had to kill it. It was no longer a beast. It was un- undead. Yeah. That's why those people were all dead in the movie. Yes. Cool. Yes. They were stuff like that. I want everyone at home. Dude, if you start turning into a zombie, I will kill you. I will kill you. I won't even hesitate. Yeah. Ah. Good. We're on agreements. I, I agree. <laughs> we're on agreements. One thing would kill us for less. Yeah. We wouldn't even have to become zombies. She'd, like, she'd kill us for our Yeezys. Oh, I broke my leg and I'm unable to work. 
I put Sam down. <laughs> she said something funny. She burnt. She forgot she was cooking something, and and it was it started burning the pot. And Nate was in his room. And he could smell it. And she came out of the room going, "I have burned the pot. It is a bad day." Yeah, I came out I was like, "What?" She happened? doesn't sound quite like that. No, <laughs> it was funny. I was like, "What happened? Is that in here?" But you, well, I want everyone do me. Here's your homework. Look your beast in the eye, and I want you to think: Am I prepared to kill this beast? If not, you need to give it up. You need to give up that beast. Yeah. Because that, let me tell you, that beast is cape is is prepared to kill you. There's a story. This is a headline. Here it is. But I don't remember where uh, most of it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Why well, just remember where it was? I'm thinking it was in India or somewhere like that. A man on went on holiday uh-huh. for two weeks. Okay. And he had five dogs that he lived with. He just went on holiday for two weeks and didn't feed them. Ah! And he came home and they attacked and ate him. Yeah, those dogs did not love him. They all were like, when this motherfucker also, comes back, we're that eating. That fucker didn't love those eight no, he didn't. He didn't love them. He went away hoping they would come back and be like, oh, my dogs are dead. Yeah, I was trying to look for a way out of that. I feel like when in a relationship. Yeah, he deserved to get eaten by them. Here's a claim I'm going to make. Mm-hmm. In relation to beasts, love is but a force field. Okay. Put that on a shirt. <laughs> the royal way. Between man and beast, love is but a force field. It's just a barrier. Dude, I mean, that's, it, that's not just between man and beast. That's between man and man. When the fucking solar flare hits, man, I'm telling you, people are going to be killing loved ones. It'll be brother against brother. Reminds me of my tits on my phone. Oh, yeah. I'm scared of the full solar flare. Neglected horse <laughs> eats owner after he comes back from two weeks. Sue's home. former owner. Oh, no. Didn't, they, just, didn't we just read about the, wasn't that with the monkey selfies that aren't allowed? It's got a, a horse law. It's got to apply a horse law. Sue neglected horse sues former owner for over one hundred thousand dollars in damages. I'm gonna go out here on a, on a limb and say, didn't no, it didn't. Thing. No, a human of some sort did. Someone represented a neglected horse. Yeah, this horse is neglected, but has defense attorney. And also, it asked for money, which is worthless to a horse. It asked for hay. It would ask for a hundred thousand dollars in or hay. carrots or sugar cubes or something. Oh, that's true. They eat more than that. Apples. Horse loves an apple. I imagine how many apples a horse could live forever on a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> okay, <laughs> a horse could live forever on a hundred thousand dollars. What is the circumstances in which someone sees a horse be neglected, decides to defend it in court, claims a hundred thousand dollars in damages? Well, I can see someone doing that, but the, and then the take weird- the horse and then like I need this money to support the horse. That's had to be how they threw it at it. To be like, we need the hundred thousand dollars to get nurse this horse back to health and look out for its future. And then the judge threw the book at that man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know. The world's oldest spider. How do they know? Has been killed by a wasp. That doesn't sound like anything. That, how do you know? That's, yeah, that's where just was me. it that you like? If you have a record of it being the oldest spider, you yeah. would maybe have some sort of understanding, and they would be in like captivity, and then you let a wasp kill it. Like what the fuck? Okay, I. My idea is if they knew, if it was in captivity and science owned it. <laughs> owned by science and science was ready to kill it. And this thing has been living in a, uh, I, I bet they give it its whole ample sized room. A little environment. It's got a big web going on. They feed it a lot of different <laughs> bugs and stuff. And this fucking thing spends a lot of time and it's got a personality. We learned that, right? I think that maybe it's lived long enough and interacted with scientists long enough that they're talking to that spider and they're talking to it. Space. And it's, yes. <laughs> return me. One day I will return to the void. Like, man, this spider's weird me out, man. Take my shift. If a spider was talking, it he's would, talking about the void again, man. I don't, <laughs> if a spider had a voice, it would definitely be like this. Yes. I am a spider. Yeah, it would be like, <laughs> spear into the void. The void called me. <laughs> It needs all those eyes and all those legs to fucking navigate the fucking harp strings of the universe. That reminds me of that fucking it's thing folds, in Krull. Yeah, fold space time. And then a wasp comes and kills it. Yeah. <laughs> it's thinking about things in space time and the wasp goes, it's thing. Fuck you. It was an assassin from another dimension. And it convinced that it was the oldest living wasp, maybe. Maybe it was in the room next door and it's like, oh, spider, we are long time brethren. Yes, may I converse with him? That's how a wasp talks? Yes. Okay, I'll be the spider, you be the wasp. Okay. My oldest enemy. We meet again. For the last time. How dare you? We're four years old right now. We're grown ass men. I'll be the spider and you be the wasp. And that went nowhere. My old nemesis. Yeah, we know how it ends. We read the ending of this book. The, the, the... (laughs) 
<laughs> was I battled what that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how old those spiders were. You told this goddamn story in the pockets like ten times. I know. I'm not gonna tell it again. Anyway, I battled one, and it defeated me. It defeated my roommate. That's why I hope to one day defeat all the beasts of the world. Those we don't know how old those spiders were. That spider man lived in that patch of yeah. woods. I, I feel like a thing like a spider or an ant or something. How could you possibly? I mean, I guess there's ways to age things, but like I would see the goddamn stuff. I saw the. Well, same. I guess if they grew it in a lab. Yeah. And they're like, this thing's fucking living for as long as we know that they've lived. Because all the other ones we've caught, you don't know. Let's, let's just, there's fucking dots on them or something that show their age. Like rings of a tree. Dots. There's dots on them. I don't know. how. I was, you can't cut them open and look at their rings. But maybe like be, they grow a hair for every year they're alive or something. <laughs> there's a fucking shoe in this one. <laughs> all right, let's do one in. Cut let's, him open. Ain't my Yeezy. Let's do one in the law and we'll get out of here. Okay. Open up that law drawer. What's the, what's the, what's the, the. Law and order sound. Doom, doom. Yeah, yeah. We got to do it together to make the right sound. Doom, doom. Ah, my nemesis. Yes. <laughs> but, okay, hold on uh, one sec. Close the drawer. <laughs> We're back in animals. There's... But no, just real quick. It's not worth going back into the drawer. Because I remember seeing uh, there was that other spider <laughs> that I saw... You are such an old man! You are such an old man! <laughs> Now, 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 wait a minute. I wasn't done with my spider stories. Now, now, there was this one time I battled this spider in this kitchen in, this, in Florida. No, it was sitting outside on a brick wall. I don't, I think it was welcoming its death. I think it, dude, there was a, God damn it, man. There was a storm coming and we were racing to get, we were moving into a new apartment. And it's like, you know, when like you can feel it in the air, it's like the skies turn fucking dark and all the leaves are overturned yes. and that cold wind's blowing and you're like, shit, dude, we got to hurry. It's coming. It's like, whoo. We're walking past this wall carrying like couches and shit, like trying to get it all out of the truck and into the apartment like as fast as we can. We're like, fuck, dude, it's coming. The fucking storm's coming. If we look down, there's this giant fucking hairy jumping spider, much like the one that I battled of a different clan probably, <laughs> but it was about the size of a fucking nickel, which is big for those guys. It had so much hair on its body that it was blowing in the wind like a fucking Gandalf beard. And it just was didn't pay us any mind and we're like look at this fucking spider and it wasn't looking at the humans carrying giant things inches from it that we could have just mashed it. it wasn't concerned with us at all it was fucking turned towards the horizon watching the goddamn storm roll in as the the wind blew its hair around i was like look at this epic fucking spider i think he was that, that spider was 200 years old and he was like today is the day it is my time bring on the wasps of the wind yeah he, he had a fucking belt on it was all wasp skulls <laughs> He was a fucking ancient one. Anyway, we can close the door. Then I'm back in the... Bam, bam. No, don't open that drawer. No Which one do you want to listen to? Okay, we're done. <laughs> okay. Huh? What year is it? Huh? Grandpa? What? <laughs> Neglected horse? Which one are you going to Let's play the card. Neglected I horse. remember. We jumped World's in. oldest spider. Uh, snake mistakes slipper for food. Uh, con laser eye contact. Human mm -hmm. bones make research. Nah. Oh, that kind of... This one's in science, but really it should be in animals. Uh, I uh know Chinese they... grenade throwing, leopard bone infused medicinal wine, no. human pet house. Mm. I think a lot mysterious of those are pickle kind of... jar, bishop blesses church. No, bishop bishop blesses toilet. Mm. We don't have to clean. We don't have to. No, no I took tallest hat. Guinness think, world record. I think we know that that was just bullshit, right? That Guinness I mean, a lied. Lot of them, a lot of them. Are. I kind of just want to know how they know that spider was as old as it was. So oldest spider wasp. Okay, let's play the card. <laughs> Aged 43. 43 year old spider? It's older than you and me. <laughs> Age 43. Spiders older than you and me. Age 43. Spiders older than you and me. Why'd I get kind of Shakiri? Let's watch this. <laughs> when one thing was learned. Look at it. It's a honker, man. Absolute unit. The world's oldest spider, a 43 year old female, Gaius Velosus. A trapdoor trap arachnid has died, according to Australian. Australian. Of course. If they're going to grow in ancient, it's in Australia. The spider outlived the next oldest known spider, a 28-year-old tarantula. Like, fucking from Mexico by some 15 years. Dubbed number 16. Number 16. That it's his a real, name. God. And you think it was just a real fucker that... Look at that thing. If you think it was just... They didn't even give it a name. If something lives 43 years, you got to name it. They named it like an assassin. I mean, number what the 16. fuck? You have this thing in a lab, and it's called number 16, and a fucking wasp came and killed this it. Is like, this is like... A League of Assassins spider, you know what I mean? This is like V for Vendetta. Mason and his team were devastated by the spider's death. Yeah, because it did not live its natural lifespan. It was murdered. I can't do an Australian accent. Oi. I can't do it. It just sounds like Statham. Yeah. Let's read it normal. We're really miserable about it. <laughs> <laughs> eh. 
we were hoping she could have made it to 50 years old. I'm sure you were. But what, how did it happen? Yeah, what? I'm not really seeing anything about it. Did it just sneak in? Did the wasp just sneak in and fucking kill it? Succumb to a parasitic wasp attack. It doesn't really... It doesn't, God damn it. It doesn't tell God us... damn it. It's just like the fucking puppy being fed to a turtle. It doesn't tell us what we need to know. They're just focusing on how old it is. How yeah. did a wasp kill it, you fuckers? Yeah. I, I, and, and I did say I want to know how old the thing was and how they know it. So what, how do they know? We still don't know. Because I think this, they've had it for 43 years. Good lord. Can you imagine you have it for fucking 43 years and then fucking... Your fucking dad studied the spider. Now you you're studying the you spider. You hire a new intern. And then a wasp comes in and goes... Yes. You'd be like, God damn it all. Yes. <laughs> it's wasp or fuckers. We've talked about it. This has been another episode of the Royal Weed. Yeah. I'm the spider. I'm the... You're the wasp. Oh. We talked about this. <laughs> Oh, that's right. We're, we did little characters. <laughs> it does seem like hours ago. I know it was five minutes ago. My brain's going real fast right now. I want to thank Kishibashi for letting us use his song, Intro Slash Pathos Pathos, of the album 151A. If you want to supply his headlines, and you should. And you should. <laughs> you, your heart is not in there. Nah, my, no. <laughs> you guys can't. <laughs> Tired of being a wasp at Royal Weekcast on Twitter or Royal Weekcast at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's been a it's been a fucking guys, it's been a, a couple weeks in Goof Grease News. God damn. Yep. I hope you're living the smell out there. Follow all those stenches. Life like a mole, living the smell. Highly sensitive, erotical tale. Life like a mole, deep underground, sensitive whiskers, feeling the sound. What is that? It's made it up. It's my life like a mole poem. Good night, Dad. Live in the smell. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>